Okay guys, so I have to tell you something right now. This has to do with my job and well, the weather over here where I live is not, not going to be good for tonight and tomorrow. And I'll tell you right now, I'll see y'all what I'm talking about. Here's the story, about, here's, here's the why I might not be able to go work tomorrow. So. Okay guys, so the reason why I might not be able to go work tomorrow it's because it's hurricane season. I live in South Texas. I live in Corpus Christ, uh, Texas. So I just got the news from work and the Weather Channel and everything. Uh, we're having a hurricane warning right now. Uh, we're having a storm storage warning right now. I'm um, reading it here right now. Um, it's a Tapasco storm, Hannah. Um, so I'm reading the warning. Hurricane warning means hurricane force winds are expected somewhere within this area within the next 36 hours. A short storm shortage means there's a danger of light threatening in Indonesian, I N U N D A T O, and from rising water moving inland from the coastline somewhere within this area within the next. 36 hours and it's effective where I live so if you've lived in Corpus Christi, Flower Bluff and Champlain Ranch stay safe make sure your stuff is boarded up and everything and I hope you have enough time to buy sandbags um, my local Home Depot and I can't remember um, they're giving sandbag Home Depot selling sandbags if you don't know what sandbag is um, sandbags sandbags it's full of sand to put up on your house so the water will go in if you do know okay um, this is right here when look at latest location forecast equivalent strong tropical storm force wind peak wind forecast 50 to 65 miles per hour with the gust to 85 mile per hour windows window for tropical storm force winds saturday morning until early sunday morning um uh, threat to life and property that includes typical forecast uncertainty and track size and intensity uh some damage to roofing and siding material along with damage to porches awning coppers and sheds several large trees snapped or uprooted with, but with greater numbers in places where trees are shallow rooted Several fences and roadway signs blown over, some real impassable from large debris and more within urban or heavily wooded places. A few causes, three bridges, causeways, and sets route to impassable. Scattered power and communication outage, but more prevalent, prevalent in areas above ground lines. So, yeah, I already have a backup power that I bought from Walmart I could not go to Home Depot I'm not Home Depot um, Best Buy and it's already too late for me to order it and get it to my house so I gotta use what the best I got it's fully charged but I'm gonna check again to make sure it's fully charged and everything so now we have a hurricane warning effect I think I already told y'all that already so so this right here so I got a tropical weather statement until Saturday 12.15 a.m. as CDT, C -D -T. I don't know what that stands for, I have to look for myself. Uh, this product covers South Texas, I don't know why they put this product, I don't know why, I'm so sorry. Hannah started as it approaches the middle Texas coast. Uh, okay, so changes to watches and warnings. I Storm surge warning has been issued for the coastal Calhoun and coastal referral. Uh, the tropical storm warning has been upgraded to hurricane warning and a storm surge warning has been issued for if you live in this area in South Texas, Aransas, Island, Calhoun, Islands, coastal Aransas, coastal Clayburg, coastal Oasis, I live in Oasis County. Coastal San Patricio, Playbrooks Island, and Oasis Alley Islands. I don't know why I say that. I'm so sorry. Uh, the tropical storm warning has been upgraded in 
to a hurricane warning for inland Clayborg, inland Louises, inland San Francisco, and Jen Wells. Uh, okay, so I warned. Okay. I already explained to this, but this is the other one. Tropical storm warning in effect for B, Devol, Galia, Inland Cajon, Inland Referral, Live Oak, and Victoria. Uh, like I said, hurricane warning in effect for Inland Clean Park, Inland Oasis, and the San Francisco, and Jim Wells. So, I live in Corpus Christi, but I don't live in town town or next to the beach. I live in a small town called Annaville. That's where I live, but I still gotta be protective anyway. Um, this is right here. Tropical Store Hannah continues to track westward this afternoon. So, like I said, I might not gotta go back to work. Okay, and so protect against, okay, flooding rain. So it says right here, and potential impacts. Flooding rain, protect against light threatening, rainfall flooding, having possible and stiff impacts across South Texas. Uh, oh, okay, potential impacts include major rainfall flooding, may prompt many evacuation and rescues. Rivers and tributaries, I'm so sorry, I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm gonna spell it out for you guys T R I B U A T R I E S may rapidly overflow their banks in multiple places. Small stream, creeks, canal, arrows, and ditch may become dangerous river. And so on and so on. Okay, now I have... Okay, I already did a storm turning. Okay, so now we're having a flush... Flush flood watch in effect from Saturday morning to Saturday evening. Okay, so flash spots watch for the portion of South Texas. So if y'all live in South Texas, including the following areas Aransas Island, B Cajon Islands, Coastal Aransas, Coastal Cajon, Coastal Claybor, Coastal Nueces, Coastal Referio, Coastal San Patricio, Duval, Galliard, Inland Cajon, Inver Kleinberg, in Oasis, in the Referio, Inland San Patricio, Gem Wells, Claymore Islands, Live Oak, in Oasis Island, and Victoria. So, now all they're saying is rainfall and mount to 4 to 8 inches with isolated location reaching 12 inches are expected. Okay, it says precautionary and preparedness action. Do not enter across flowing water or water of known depth. Stay away or be swept away. Rivers, bank, and cohorts can be unstable and unsafe. Okay. Here's the issue where I live in Corpus Christi, Texas. I'm sorry, it's going to be out there. Um, people do not he warning or listens to warnings um people would drive through especially small cars or any kind of cars they have they would drive through flooded waters and they get stuck i remember oh when did we have like a very bad, bad rainfall i think it was back between 2010 between 2013 we had a very bad weather over here and it's in October uh, a couple had to walk on Everhart barefooted because their car got stuck in the flood and then on the news this lady had to take her kids out of the car somebody rescued her and her child and she, her child was a toddler out of the car and her car was swept away while the car was open so yeah and like I said these people don't hear heed warning or listen to them they drive through the flooded water and they got water damage to their car which is unfixable and if they do fix it it's gonna cost them a lot of money like thousands of thousands of dollars to fix uh, their car so just to let you guys know if you live in South Texas please do not drive in high water just please don't otherwise you're gonna damage your car and you have to pay a lot of damage or you lost it for good so 
like I said I might not able to go work tomorrow I don't know yet I have to check on flights tomorrow to see if I'm working tomorrow or not or Sunday as well not even Sunday either that's gonna be sucky for me because that's I live okay I'm gonna tell you why I live in a trailer I live in a a mobile home in trail park with my twin sister and my parents yes I live with my parents I'm 30 years old I live with my parents and the reason why I'm living with my parents is to help up with bills food and rent I don't care what you said about that I'm putting out there and I don't care uh, so yeah I might not go in and work tomorrow or Sunday so I'll let you guys update it as soon as as soon as I can if I'm going to work tomorrow or not so yeah so anybody who lives in South Texas especially a city I, I you live in Corpus Christi or any cities I was talking about please be safe be prepared try to um, try not to use much of your battery on your phone or anything so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video I'll do an update you guys soon what's going on and yeah wish me luck